Hello everybody, this is Shadow Lizzie here bringing you a brand new episode of Running Red. I believe this is episode 7, and there it is. So I had to start my timer, and I made some improvements to the air, the Skyblock Ocker Running Red, if, depending on what you want to call this. I'll show you what all of them are. I'll start with, let's just, I upgraded the farm. I got Sugar King because I want to be able to make more quest books in case I, you know, lose the ones I have. I took care of just, you know, breeding the animals. You know, you guys know what that is over there, so I don't need to tell you. But, I'll show you later. Over here's the biggest changes. First off, I made a, sort of just a simple pathway thing. Basically, this will go up to the same exact level the grass on that island is there. I just wanted, like, a safer path than what's down there, you know, straight shot. And I did this, so that way I can just be like, yeah, let me in. And follow. In addition, I've made the storage hut, I was the storage building a little bit. Stored a de got a decent amount of stuff stored. Right, so, so basically, occasionally once this chest fills up, I just organize it all into there. A food chest right here. Emergency chest there. Blood ma I put all the blood magic stuff here as well as some god I mean golden apples because you know also I had to rebuild a bit of that because it exploded over there's where I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you in a few moments but I just realized there's one thing I forgot to do on camera I mean off camera and that was make some freaking armor there's some gold I had smelting so I'll take that first yeah, I want to at least make a new tunic and some new pants. Can I use aluminium to do the job? Nope. Guess I have to go traditional. Actually, I should also show... Well, since I realize I need a little bit more materials, I gotta show you another little thing I did. I doubled up. It's a very, very simplistic design here, I know, but that's sort of the point. So now I can access all of the ores from over here, or instead of in the other location I was at. Right now I just want to harvest this iron. I believe I also have a little iron over here. Also, you guys noticed in my inventory probably by now, I have a few different uh, tools. I remade my my Keith and my John, and then I also made a sword called Maswell. I meant to do, call him Maxwell, but honestly, it's one of those mistakes that I like better than the initial idea. So first off, once I make the new armor, here I'm going to just start smelting this stuff. So first off, do do do. -do. And, yep, perfect. I can remove these. You know what? Lava crystal, you might as well get some um, work out of you. Now let me put these away. Okay. Oh yeah, I also want to show you guys how much freaking cobblestone we got. We just filled up like a little bit ago. And I've been taking from this chest. Speaking of which, I'm taking that for a good reason. Take a few of these. Not all of them. Just in case, at least like three. Let's go to bed. I'm sorry if I keep procrastinating what I need to do, but it's just things keep getting in the way. I already got mo the main thing set up for today's episode in advance, since I already knew what was coming next in this book. Running red, skylines and turnstiles, burn in hell. I did this, then this appears. Now I gotta go to the nether. So, let's go. I'm not even gonna hesitate because I have decent enough armor. I'm just hoping it's like a regular nether, or at least a nice nether for one reason. I, oh yeah, also, this is the pathway to the, well, the portal. And I just realized I'm the biggest idiot on earth. 
Let's see how to make gravel. Cobblestone with a hammer, a pulverizer. Smooth stone and gunpowder? Are you kidding me? I actually forgot the flint and steel, guys. I apologize. But I know I have some gunpowder and I know I got some, uh, I can make some smooth stone really quick. So I'm just gonna. Elizabeth. Oh, yeah, I made a dime pig ask because of the portal forced me to because I misplaced a block. Now then, I just need one of these. And this. Followed by that, I got to make sure I got gunpowder. I probably left it in the organic materials chest. Yep. I still gotta make a chest for, like, stone and whatnot, but I'm just... You can call me lazy on that one. So let's see, gravel to make it via blood magic. One, It's a one-to-one -one ratio, okay. So I'll just take one of those. Put you here. Put you here and take these out. Also, I gotta freaking reorganize my inventory again while we while that happens. I'm gonna put actually Keith can be useful in the Nether. And I'll take some torches. Okay, I'm ready. Got the gravel. Now then, how do I make the flint out of this? Really? Just really? Any other options? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to go with the old-fashioned method of... So, this is gonna take a little bit, and I am sorry for forcing you through this. Just one of those real... The simplest thing can make this take forever. Also, I have yet to actually process half the other episodes and ooh, good, got what I need. Yeah, I haven't processed uh, the episodes yet that I've recorded for this. I'm taking care of that after this one, though. Worst case scenario, after the next one. And we'll see. In the meantime, that goes there, that goes there. Perfect. Putting a noise muffler there later, promise you. Because I hate the, the sounds they make. I don't say against them themselves, it's just noisy. Later I will get closer to that slime island. And also apparently a cloud. Well then. Geronimo. Getting the cobble ready immediately. Oh no, it's one of these nethers. Had a feeling. I knew this was going to be the kind of nether that it's like, there's nothing actually here. Or, and you have to build it. Like, I think the only thing that's actually going to spawn here is nether fortresses. And until I can somehow fly, I'm really not likely going to get too much of that done. I want to check the book really bad just to see if the quest is completed or not, but I'm nervous. Okay, let's extend this on the sides. I can get a little obsidian from this, luckily. One, two, three, four, five, six. I just gotta extend this enough so I can put a little bit of a roof on it. One, two. This'll do for now. Right now, I'm purely just setting this up with the idea of not dying. Now then, going this way, at least the nether isn't as bad as I thought it would be. I'm sort of sad it wasn't a traditional nether, but I guess that prevents you from being able to just cheaply get all of the materials you need made for nether furnaces, which I was hoping to be able to do. Designing this in a way that I can't accidentally jump out and kill myself. 
So I apologize, it's gonna take a little bit before I quit. Yeah. Quest the checkbook, is what I'm about to say. Okay. Visited? Oh my god. Are you serious? Okay. I'm gonna... First, let's see which direction. 8... 70... 72... Let's see, 62... Ooh, so a little lower and sorry about this this I'm just double checking the chords let's see which way 71 I'm just I hate coordinates so 782 something so that means I need to go this way so I need to go in more of a this way direction so guys today's episode let's gonna see if I can I am just gonna make what we need for this really quick I wanna see if I can reach it in 10 minutes but before that I wanna put away uh, actually I just wanna freaking get a, a crafting table there because I really, really, really do not want to have to, you know. Also, going to get a lot of cobble. I'm willing to bet this is going to probably lead to some form of spawner. Or my name is Quinn. And not the Harley Quinn. Even though I'm a fan of her. Just her existence would be the accurate term. Okay. Good. Now let's quickly make a crafting station. I can put away the flint and steel for now. Might regret that later, but in case if I get trapped in the nether, I'm gonna cheat it. I'm not even gonna. I'll, I will cheat a flint and steel in just for the sake of relighting the portal. Like, that's one of the few things I will cheat in this situation where I have limited lives. Now then. Almost there. I might as well randomly give you news about how I'm going. I'm going well. <laughs> okay, but seriously. Well, for me lately, the big I per well today I burnt my tongue. Apparently, I'm an idiot. I'm I'm not trying to make a joke or anything. I'm completely serious. I'm just an idiot. I forgot that hot chocolate was hot. Like, I'm not even trying to make a joke here, I'm just completely serious. There was a thing in at the at the college I I go to and they were basically just giving away free a food and whatnot and they're like, Oh here's free hot chocolate. It was basically it was basically the net it was basically that Nestle uh choc What the What the hell? What the fuck? up was that? Okay. Continuing on. So basically, this is that Nestle chocolate mix, and they just gave you hot it in hot water. And I decided to take a sip of it with a straw, and I'm like, oh, my mouth doesn't seem to mind. But then my tongue is just like, well, you just fu you just screwed up. So that's just a random bit of what's going on with me. Now then, I'm going to have to go how many blocks? I'm going to have to go about a few hundred. Yeah, so... I'm just going to keep talking. Because I feel like something interesting... Actually... Yeah, I'll, I'm just going to keep it because I hate cutting up episodes. Okay, that's going to be useful, that sulfur cloud. So I'm, I'm going to have to remember that. And I think I have enough slabs to get around. I'm just curious what those are hanging on to. Or are they just like, just floating? Because I know the roof, because I'm not sure how it would connect to the roof of the nether. Oh, actually now I do. It's not, it's just not a flat bedrock. Seriously, damn. 
I was at least hoping there'd be a few more Nether Fortresses in visual range. Because I do not have a jetpack. I've actually been tr thinking of how to get power going for the Skyblock, but I just haven't thought of a good idea for it. Uh, let's see. I was thinking of maybe setting up a rail crafting, but that requires a lot of materials like gravel. Oh, well, because I believe that you need... Either that or clay, and I don't know how to make those. Okay, careful. Okay. Literally, it's just freaking red. It freaks me out. I'm just sorry if this is literally going to be a boring part of the episode, but it is pretty normal. So let's think. What else can I say? While I'm learning to program, I'm planning on taking classes in JavaScript, because maybe then I can learn how to mod Minecraft, create my own mod. And I actually have a pretty good idea for a mod. Like an immersive first-person, like, thing. Like, it... You get hit by a creeper, you just get knocked back. I'm thinking if there's an explosion, you should be knocked down, like, on your side. I didn't be, like, you know... Maybe dazed a little bit. It's, I'm, like, this is just me speculating out loud, because there's a few other mods that could work great with that, like, when an explosion happens, you, like, your vision will blur, or, I just think that'd be cool. Either that, or i just make some really ridiculous mod. Duck guns. They look like rubber duckies, but they're actually guns that will destroy everyone. And yes, these are desperate. These are just random ideas that I actually would like to do. Like, I'm not sure saying I would play with duck guns, but I think someone would enjoy them. Let me think. What else? Let's see. Oh yeah, my buddy Clockwork Knight finally got a decent PC. I think I mentioned it last episode. He's been playing a lot of Saints Row 4. I've been wanting to see if I can play with him, but it just the connection's just hilarious. Is not perfect. Half the time it's either hilarious bugs because of the shitey connection, and or it's just we can't do stuff because the game will bug like, in a really weird way. Also, I was trying to get him and his brother to get like the Steam family sharing thing going. It's like, I don't know why it's bugging for them, because I would have loved to... Have, I, I know they would love to be able to do that, because his brother has a lot more games on Steam than he does, because he's, my friend, Clockwork's been more of a console gamer, or while well, I'm, well, Ultimate Hybrid. And I believe Ultimate Hybrid's the best way to go, oh, when it comes to being a gamer, for one reason. Oh, there's the Nether Fortress. Good, we finally made, it took like five minutes of just placing blocks. See how far we are. 91. We're going to have to make a freaking left turn soon. If I'm going to do that, I'm going to make sure it's a safe left turn. And a needed one. So let's see, what block do I need that to be at? 290. Perfect. Uh, let me just... I feel like I lost my shift button. 290 and then... Three something. Oh yeah, let's just round out the corner a bit more. This might hurt me later on. I don't know why, but knowing my luck. So I just want to make this a little bit safer by doing this. This just prevents any unnecessary falling. Hang in here. At least this will be useful later on once I feel confident enough to run in there and start murdering things. Preferably as a cleaver. That's like the strongest weapon you can make in Tinker's Construct. I like to build the slowest, like, uh, hit speed. So let's see, I need to get to 370. So about a stack of these. These would ta will take me there. If this thing asks me for another thing, which no one my luck this quest is gonna... I'm going to be really annoyed. Like, I could just go to there, but there's so many mobs waiting to murder me. Okay. 
almost finished with this stack. Okay, and 28 left, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 away. Let's see, 37, and then I gotta go down. So basically, it's right about here. The issue is there's literally a skeleton, damn it. Let me just spread this. I think I might eat my apple well, before I jump down there, but are you kidding me? Let's see, the zombie pigment I'm not worried about, so the freaking skeletons is what's worrying me. So let's just do this. Oh crap. I'm dead. I'm fully dead. I'm dead. I'm going to bet it. Knew it. Well, let's first check my emergency quest book, see if that one at least is... Yep. I lost a life in exchange for that. And I'm not sure how I'm going to get any money more. But first... HQM. Okay, hold on. Quest. A book and a piece of string. That's more than enough. I'm making this in a rush because I want to claim the reward on my on an extra one. So let's see, I got the paper. I got the leather and string right over here. Leather, string, and now I have to be three times as careful. Otherwise this series is going to come to a very quick end. Got it. Now then, I'm going to take a safari net. Well, now then, I'll find out what's in that later. But let's take a quick peek at their next quest. Flight of the Ghosts. An air sigil. Let's see. We can... Oh my god, that's going to be good. Okay. Let's find out how to make it right now. I got all the materials. I can make it right now. Okay. I got some... I, I get, From one of the blocks, the uh, questing bags, I got some of these. So that... A blood orb. And... Let's see what else. Gas tier, which I got from this quest. And what would be left? The glass, yes, the glass. I don't know why I put in organic materials, but I probably just, you know. I'll read how this thing works, because even I don't know what this does. Okay, I'm taking the the reward bag. Ooh, a diamond. I actually need that. Because I want to make a new blood orb next episode. Actually, I'll make it between episodes, but I'll show you the recipe. It's one emerald in here. To make an emerald, it's just a bunch of life essence spikes surrounded by a diamond. So basically, I'll just fill this up and take care of it off camera, because I need more uh, blood storage before I use this air sigil. In the meantime, guys, this has been Shadow Ruler Zero, and I'll see you next time in Running Red. Bye!